what is up you guys she is back with another video oh my gosh the consistency who is she what the fuck as you can tell a little bit i'm a little sticky icky it's not covid it's not um the flu or anything i already went to the doctor and they said it's just some little like virus that's going on especially with the like climate change and stuff so as you can see i'm slightly sweating i should be resting but i don't feel like it and i know i'm just gonna feel worse if i'm just laying down all day so let's be productive at least a little bit what this video will consist of is this pumpkin what i'm gonna be doing is basically showing you guys how i toast pumpkin seeds so if you guys don't know semillas are basically what come from pumpkins i know because my dad whenever we get the pumpkins and we carve them for fun he ends up taking the semillas from us and he starts toasting them they taste so good this is my little inspo basically a little inspo video for my dad as you guys can see look at the jewelry that i'm wearing today it's so cute jewelry is from sol mio boutique and honestly i'm obsessed with her jewelry it's amazing so go ahead and check her out if you wanted to go right ahead and purchase your little halloween edition or even just cute little like everyday jewelry i mean i will still wear this halloween throughout the whole year so no biggie for me but anyways i'm gonna go right ahead and tear apart a lot it's a decent amount not too bad but let's go right ahead and remove all the, the insides So I have officially, um, of course, cleaned them. They are fully drained. Um, I try to remove as much as the pumpkin stuff as much as possible, just so it won't give that taste of pumpkin, I'm guessing. I'm not fully sure. My dad didn't tell me exactly, <laughs> but it's okay. Point, so if you're making fresh semillas, like toasting them out of the pumpkin immediately, in this case, it would be half a, um, half a spoon of salt. That's all it needs. It is gonna be taking about an hour for it to cook. If you already have them sitting out and you already removed the pumpkin seeds from it from a while ago, I believe that's when you would make the concoction. A little bit of water and some salt, mix it in together and put it together with the pumpkin seeds. So in this case, I'm already heating up the pan. You don't need to add oil or anything of that sort. They toast themselves. There's no need to just do any additional. All you gotta do is to just heat up the pan and pour in your sesame seeds. 
Did I say sesame seeds? I think I said sesame seeds. because you're just trying to get them as toasty as you can. This is where we're adding the salt. Um, I think I'm gonna use kosher salt because I feel like that's the most saltiest. For this amount, half a tablespoon. So I feel like, like that should be good. Hopefully they come out don't come out too salty to be honest. But I think that should be good. is to basically dehydrate them um, so I mean all you gotta do is just wait this is honestly gonna probably take about an hour no joke it's gonna take a while especially if you want them really really toasty let the magic begin the pan is supposed to look dry and like this they're supposed to be a little bit more hard and like they're supposed to be basically more hard definitely still needs a probably another like 30 minutes to be honest so let's keep on cooking I've been wiping my nose and everything so my makeup just looks like a mess at this point you could tell how patchy it is <laughs> Oh my gosh, but whatever, it's okay. Anyways, update on the uh, pumpkin seeds, the semillas. They look really good. So let me show you guys. I actually covered the, um, I covered the pumpkins with aluminum foil. I am gonna be taking the pumpkins because um, my mom wants to definitely cook them so she can make it her dessert. So pumpkins won't go to waste. Here are the pumpkin seeds now. It's on very low heat. You literally have to be like at least uh, moving it around. You're supposed to be mixing them up for every minute or two. The point is you don't want them to burn. You want them to dry out as much as possible and get nice, a uh, good, nice toasty color, basically like a nice brown color. So honestly, I think they're done, but the way to check is to basically try one. So let's see. Okay, definitely still needs more time. You could tell by the texture, it's not as crunchy. Definitely will be needing another 30 minutes. As I mentioned, keep mixing it every minute or two so they won't get burnt they are officially done they are crispy they are good they are not too salty surprisingly <laughs> but other than that guys this is how you make your semitas your little semillas your pumpkin seeds with sun all that like dust stuff is literally just like the pumpkin um, that dried out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's something very random. Um, I don't know. I thought it was it would be cool to show like what you could use with the pumpkin seeds for if after like you, you know, carve a pumpkin and you don't know what to do with the, the rest. At least get something out of it, right? So the pumpkin seeds are now ready. Oh my gosh. A full cup. Can't believe it. These are so good, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Ugh, honestly, I feel like shit. <sighs> I didn't think I would have to like be up most of the time. I was like trying to like chill for a little, then I would forget. And I would get up and I'd be like, fuck. I wanted to stop for a moment. I was like, bitch, I already got myself into it. So, oh well. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be something cool to show you guys, but let me know if your parents do this too, or if you know like, you know, when you go to Mexico or anything, like, this is a norm. I'm pretty sure this is a norm in the Mexican or Latino or anything, basically, household. So, yeah, other than that, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you for the next one.